Well, welcome back, everyone, to another episode of Riverbend Discovery Center. It's always great to have you guys over. My name is Leaf, and it's so great to have you guys for this exhibit in particular. Today, we are actually making a quick little one-off for our Tasmanian Devils. Uh, while it wouldn't really be a lower-budget kind of zoo animal, I feel like they would get their hands on them somehow. Uh, Tasmanian Devils are relatively common in the Midwest, too, so I thought, you know what, we're just gonna go all in with the idea that this is a entirely flat zoo in the Midwest. I feel like that kind of works out pretty good, but we're tucking these guys right next to our Australian aviary, we're tucking them right next to the Binturongs, and of course the Wallabies. I felt like that would be a nice place to integrate these guys. <laughs> especially right next to the Brolgas as well. Still not sure if I want to change out the Brolgas for anything else, but I'll decide that when I do get back from, you know, my little vacation and stuff, what not. So moving on through here, I really just did want to have a nice clean habitat. So I'm copying some elements from all over the zoo. In the last episode, we actually had our meerkat. So I'm using some of the, like the uh, fences from over there. I'm also using some of the fences from the capybara habitat, just as a nice way to kind of instigate like this, um, you know, this whole idea that this is all built together, kind of like all in one fell swoop i kind of like the idea of that i feel like that'd be a really nice thing to have for a modern zoo kind of like that and we also just cap this off right over here and make it feel like it's a lot more integrated within the building and we actually get to work on our habitat not even like you know two minutes in for once um <clears throat> wow sorry wow great so today um i wanted to integrate some bamboo over here just make sure that everything looks nice and clean i could have done like custom dividers between the glass panels but i just thought like hey the bamboo works pretty fine as it is and of course the tasmanian devils are relatively dangerous animals they're not called that for no reason they probably have attacked humans in the past so i wanted to make sure that they have a nice divider between them and the people so we integrate a lot of that with like all the rubble over there just so that they'd be deterred from going over there and we kind of integrate that into the rest of the habitat we set up these little scenes that's something i really like to do in these smaller exhibits just kind of paint it as like a nice little picture as a way to really give it a little bit more emphasis on like you know uh where the tazzies might go to sleep where they might go to run around and stuff like that i think it all turns out really good in the end but moving on through here one of the things I really wanted to do was also put down some nice logs and stuff. I don't even think I'd do that yet. I wanted to get the bamboo in first. That's right. That's exactly right. I also apologize if you hear my dog barking in the background. She's going a little crazy today. Uh, but we also add our beautiful little cowberry bushes, crowberry bushes, and whatnot. Just as a way to make it feel a lot more lush, a lot more organic. I don't even think I put down the periwinkle bushes in here. That's a little bit sad. Um, maybe I'll have to go back and add some of those as well. But moving on through here, I wanted to make sure that it felt like a little bit overgrown over there, like on the rocks, so, you know, you would know that, you know, the Tazzies probably haven't been on there in a while, and there we go with our big old log in the middle. I really want to have this nice little structure over here, and I actually use that climbing log from the European pack as a way to kind of get some more emphasis on some natural climbing things in here because while Tazzies aren't really known for climbing, they still can climb. Do keep that in mind. So I did want to make sure that we kept that all good for them. We kind of prop that up with a few sticks and branches and whatnot, and it looks pretty good. It looks pretty secure. And we also throw some bedding right down there just to make sure that these guys are happy and make sure that they could get some sleep during the day in case if they do have a pretty wild night. Anyways, we go back through here and start to do some larger foliage as well. We go through with our arrowwood bushes, and it's a way to kind of make it feel a lot more dense, a lot more packed. Tasmanian devils relatively have, like, this beautiful temperate biome where they do kind of integrate themselves in, like, you know, dense forests and whatnot, as well as a variety of different other biomes. But I really wanted to emphasize the Tasmanian forest, so we do kind of do kind of that jazz over there. And we also use some education signs from our good friend Lion, always does such beautiful work with his builds uh adding those over there and i actually add the gate for the tasmanian tasmanians as well uh we also do a lot more foliage work adding like the bushes making it feel a lot more dense and even a couple flowers in there just to brighten up the area we do a little bit more rock work too just in areas that i feel like that need it and we kind of just work on like the exterior of the habitat as well because i really want to finish riverbend 
as soon as possible. And I'm sure you guys want to move on to bigger and better things with me as well. So I really just want to like, you know, take the time to work on these small areas in between these uh, as a way to make it feel a lot more like, you know, built up, have it feel a lot more purposeful. So we essentially just do that right there. We add some of the nettle as a way to make it feel a lot more weedy. And we do that right in front of the habitat as well, just to really help sell the deal that this is an overgrown little habitat. I kind of like it. Um, so moving on through here, and I think that's pretty much it. We just do a little bit more finishing touches. And here we are in the B-roll. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. You guys are always such gems in the comments down below. So you guys always make my day and stuff. Uh, at this point, I'm still probably on vacation, so I want to thank you guys for bearing with me through, like, all these smaller episodes and stuff. I still want to get you guys stuff every single day because you guys absolutely deserve it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this cool, quick little bite into Riverbend. Hope you guys enjoyed the new Tasmanian Devil remasters. They came out extremely well. Give some love to Nick for that. And that's about it. I want to thank you guys once more. And I'll see you all in the next video. Take care and have the most wonderful of wonderful days. Bye-bye now.